Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Blakeu92 again, coming at you with a new tutorial here called uh, Trimming Tips for Avid. And basically in this one we're going to be talking about a few little details about trimming that most people kind of pass over, maybe not know too much about, or uh, you know something that could make it go a little bit smoother for you in the process. And like all my videos, if you haven't seen any of them before, at the beginning I always have to say that I am Final Cut Pro certified and Avid Media Composer certified. And that means I'm a certified user, but in no way, shape, or form am I a certified instructor. I'm just doing this for your guys' benefit, and I hope you can learn a little bit of something in the process. Okay, so let's get started here. Okay, like we said in uh, previous tutorials, you can lasso an edit point right there and use the JKL trimming tools to play backwards or play forwards and once you're in trimming mode the left side will be the source monitor and the right side of the edit will be the record monitor but I'm going to show you a different way um, here in just a second but it's also important to know that when you're using this JKL mode notice this little green bar that's underneath um, each side of the monitor. This represents which side of the edit points audio you're going to hear. So if we, all we have to do to listen to the left side is drag the cursor over to the source monitor. We don't have to click anything and basically it'll let you hear the left side or the A side of the edit point whenever you're trimming. And Notice when we're paused by pressing the K key I can take the cursor and move it over to the right side and notice the green bar will be on that side. 